right in your kishkish Oh. Hey, I collected these slugs from the garden. They were eating all the cabbages. You've got foot trails on your shirt. Slugs don't walk in straight lines. Stand still. They'll think we're a cabbage leaf. It's about time we arrested someone. Come on. And there's a guy here trying to be a cabbage leaf. Let's arrest him. Come on, buddy. You're in bug trouble. Hey, this is a nice kitchen, sister. What is this, the shaker look? You know, I studied film noir at film school. Guess we say film noir, you asshole. Oh, shush. These cells are deliberately underlit to give a sense of drama. What? Huh? Come on, get in there. There. Oh, you look moody. That's a cliche. Black and white's finished since Schindler's List. Is there a mini bar in here? Big white car yeah. coming through. <laughs> it's a falcon. Well, who else do you think it was, Blondie? Beg yours. Never mind about that. Come on, fuck your little botty cheeks on the old <laughs> leatherette here. <laughs> Off we go. <laughs> Sorry about the whoopee cushion. Trying to lighten my character a bit. Great improvement. Yeah, you think so? You were getting a little fuddy-duddy. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, all that nonsense you used to say. Like, in effect, actually. Calling people ducky. Well, hey, Falcon here, get your puppies out for the lads. You know, what's the matter? I never said that. Wish I had, though. Well, there's so many drugs uh, on the street now, yes. and we haven't got enough police dogs to sniff them out. Oh, yes. So we've had to sniff them out ourselves. Oh. It's terrible, really, isn't it? Who's this chap on the left? I've never met him before in my life. Oh, but, oh yes, no. Remember, we're looking for crack in the pavement. Oh, I ex- found a white light, yeah. Coming yeah. Through. I can see a bit of crack here. Better put my pants up, then. It doesn't matter whether the check shirt man did it or not. He's going to have to confess to something. You haven't got any evidence at all. Well, we'll charge him with that as well, not having any evidence, right? Well, I don't know. He's got a perfect alibi, you know. We'll charge him with that, too. This guy's digging a real big hole for himself. He's going to swing. What a dope on a rope. They're charging you with murder. On the ground, did you have a check shirt? Slugs on your cabbages, a perfect alibi, and the wrong shadow on the wall. You should be wearing a hat. But it's not true. Cabbage was just a plant. Bloody lawn grass. I can defend you against some things, but not against those terrible vegetable puns of yours. I'm going to take a leak. Here in Oslo, we control the violent crime by having the Angler Management Centers. Where we vent our angler. Um, there is a good one um, just over there where we punch each other. Then we sit down and um, have a little cup of tea. What have you brought that for, eh? Uh, it, it's a guitar. I know it's a guitar. Get rid of it. This is anger management here. Uh, I'm here for the guitar classes. You should have been here ten minutes ago. Well, don't have a go at me. Remember, I'm the course tutor, like. Take it out on him. <laughs> right. I bloody well will. I want to know where the guitar classes are. Control the anger now. Control it. Steady. Steady. Oh, come on. Oh, mind the tour board. We've got feelings you in here in a minute. The Women's Yoga Club and I do find it very annoying that the furniture gets broken every Thursday night. Come on, you've vented your anger. Now give him some hogs, will you? Make up. Cuddle him. I'm not believing that you mean it. Give us a kiss or put your face in! Uh, See, pardon me, yeah. I don't know how to tell you this, but I find this symbolic lighting effect really cliched. Ah, go blow it out your pants. Fork and entering. Ah, for Hello, big boy. Don't wink at me, Mario. Just tell me why you brought me here. We just thought that as it's show five, we should have a bit of a truce. Oh, I see, Ducky. I've beaten you at last. That's not it at all. We've got a present for you here, a staggering stories. Hmm? Uh, it is a roll-your-own cigarette, in effect. <laughs> Never did get the hang of these Rizzlers, Pancho. Uh, that's an unconventional way of smoking, my friend. Well, you know me. Always unconventional in the crisis. <laughs> so you fell for the old interlude trick, eh? Yes, I'm afraid so, Herman. You got me by the short and curly. No, I've got you. Great <laughs> news, honey. I've worked out how to get off this charge. I've convinced them I'm a chicken. It's great. But they're not going to believe that, Chet, your darling. Ah, but they will. I only have to lay three eggs a day. Yes. But how are you going to lay him? Where do they come from? Don't you see, I'll dear? I'll you, nutcase. No, you always have to find problems with everything, don't you? Get your hands off my giblets, you! <laughs> hey, are you check shirt man's lawyer? Yeah, what if I don't am? Don't speak to Stripey Tie. I'm his solicitor, hat man. Uh, what? Don't mm. speak to hat man. I'm a solicitor. Other hat man. Uh-huh. Oh. Well, can I speak to you, or do I need to speak to your solicitor? Other, other hat man. 
Hmm? Hmm? <clears throat> I'm from Stripey Tie Hat Man, other Hat Man, and no Hat at all, man. You speak to me, okay? You're all mad. Which is why I'm taking the case of Check Shirt Man who thinks he's a chicken. You're gonna get your case of shirt tonight. Now oh, you can all shut up now. I think we got the idea. Objection. I object to all the interviews about Hugh Grant in the magazines. Objection sustained. Better get that down. Now, let's get back to the plot. You are Check Shirt Man's father, hmm? Yes, that's right. I'm indeed the one. I am he. I am him. It is I in person. Just yes would have been enough there, Pops. Yep. He came from a family of 18 children, and his mother was only 23. His sisters all kept having babies. His twin brother was 12 weeks short of a load, and every Friday, his Uncle Freddy would come round and fling him round by his braces. Well, it does hurt being picked up by the braces, because the metal bit here sticks right into your nipple, you see. And the management do it to us uh, all the time. It uh, certainly keeps us in line. What do you think of Annabelle Giles? Annabelle Giles, well, that sir, is a difficult one, isn't it, really? I mean, why is she around, really? I don't know. I'll tell you something, though. She really gets on my tits. Did he have any fried childhood? He didn't have any friends, except one froggy friend, but he wasn't very nice to it. Now I put the batter in the bath, and you jump into the hole. We'll have toad in the hole, all right? Okay? <laughs> hey! Hey! But you missed the hole, didn't you? You missed the hole. All this told stuff is just flannel. We know that anyone with traces of slug on their shirt is guilty. These anchovies is nice. Miriam says the slugs, no anchovies. Don't eat them. Too late, I am. Shut up. Falcon here. You're here. I just said I was. Oh, I get so worried when I know the way you are. I... I'm yeah. standing right behind you, you stupid bitch. I just wish there was some way you could be beside me. Yeah, with the grin in it, I feel much better now. Well, because you're lighting things up. Oh, Falcon, I'm so worried. I think I'm being used. I do. What do you mean you're being used? You mean by staggering stories? Yes. yes. Look at this. It's the trial of the check shirt man who thinks he's a chicken. It's a terribly confusing story and they're bound to need a narrator. Uh, don't you worry, a pretty little blonde bonce about that, Blondie. Now, just go and book a table at a restaurant. A restaurant? Um, yes, a restaurant. And after that, you can come back to my place and I'll show you my collection of matchbox models of yesteryear. After that, well, don't worry about what happens next. Uh, Except... <clears throat> We're getting closer. Let's get out of here. Our experiments have shown that young people are affected by sex and violence. Can you wait till I've asked that question? We've been showing violent, unsexy films to young people for five years, and it's had an effect. Jump. 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 Show you what. Hmm? After five years of this, I could really murder a curry. What do you mean? You know, I'll punch it, kick it, stab it. Show it who's boss. Nah. Yeah, it's the only language these takeaway meals understand. Take it down and alley, give it a good kicking, not a crap out of it. It'll be on me now. Yeah, oh, don't stand up, don't stand up. He's gonna have a bit of sex and violence with a tandoori, eh? Oh. Don't you, monsieur, have you booked? Yeah, we want to punch a curry. Yeah, yeah then we want to snuck it, mate. Here's your yeah. punch. Ah, oh, uh, punch is gone. See you first. I'm on the trick. Oh, look, we've broken the waitress. I'll get another one. Well, Your Honor, I submit that the evidence heretofore provided is a bag of old nails, a crock of horse's doodos. In fact, a load of old cack. Old fart. I submit he's talking a lot of old toffee. Talking of old toffees. Um, anyone ever tried those where 